I'm so tickled by our listener, Ashley, here, who's brought in notes to talk on the Burt Show, and none of us have ever done that on the show before. <laughs> I did not want to be caught slipping on the Burt Show. <laughs> <laughs> so Ashley is here to find out what she already knows, that there are spirits and ghosts in her home. We do this every single year with Ed and Georgia uh, Paranormal Investigations, where you guys go ahead and you email us about all the weird, creepy, spooky stuff that's going on in your house, and we send Ed over there with all of his electronics and then you come back and he tells you yep you were right so you live in marietta and why don't Mm -hmm. you give us the origin story of this house and what's been going on and freak us all out all right so i live in marietta we have a little house on a little bit of land with a little lake and back in the day well to my knowledge i'll just start here to my knowledge two people have passed away on or near the property so My house was built in the 80s, and before that, they used to go out there and fish, and, um, you know, people would swim, Mm kind of like recreational area, and somebody did drown in the lake back in the day, like in the 50s. Okay. Okay. My house was built in the 80s. There's only one previous owner. It was the couple, just the two of them, and um, he actually passed away on the property. He unalived himself in the backyard. Do you know of these stories before you buy the property? No. So supposedly, they really only have to tell you if it's inside the house. Because it's more of like a bio issue of like Hmm. the body being in the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. More of a health thing. So... Well, that's what my realtor said. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a realtor, okay. Yeah. That sounds like a realtor that's trying to get out and not telling you somebody died on the property. Right. right. You don't got to worry about that, though. It happened in the lake. It's not like any ghosts are going to come from the lake to the house. Right. So right. we bought the house in 2020 from the widow, and we didn't know about any of this until about two years after the fact when one of the other people on the lake started telling us all of these things. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, so it's a little neighborhood gossip going on. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. It feels like a Netflix show playing out. Like you think everything's fine <laughs> until the neighbors start talking. Right. Yep. And I'm like, oh, the plot thickens. Yeah. But okay. So I'm going to start with like some of the smaller things. And then there was one event where I was like, something really is kind of weird here. So in general, we have just weird things that go on. So I have a doggy doorbell on the back door where our dog goes and just like boops his nose. And that's <gasps> how... He says he wants to go outside. Oh, oh wow. That's awesome. That's he's a smart boy. That is definitely not a bulldog. <laughs> no, what, what he's, kind of he's a pound puppy. Okay. He, he's a German Shepherd Rottweiler mm-hmm. mix. Love it. He's a good boy. And um, <laughs> so he goes and he'll boop his nose and that's how you know he wants to go outside. Well, every once in a while, the doorbell will just go off, but you have to physically touch it to make it make the ding dong noise. And... Every once in a while, it would just be like, mm. ding dong, mm-hmm. and the dog's sitting right there. So, who's doing it? So, the first couple of times that happens, how are you talking yourself out of it being a ghost or a spirit? Are you just like, maybe the wind, something hit? I was like, well, maybe the mechanism on the doorbell mm-hmm. was mm-hmm. stuck, and then it just released itself, you know. Electrical issue. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just physics and then it starts happening over and over and over again and that's when you're like wait a minute Mm -hmm. over and over and over again and there is an old alarm system that we have and it's not active and every once in a while the alarm will just go off and it starts like as in a burglary alarm so we're just sitting in the house nothing's going on and all of a sudden it's like and you have to go turn it off but there's nothing going on and we don't have an active service on the alarm system <sighs> at all. Like so it's not connected? We have, like, it's electronically connected, mm-hmm. but there's no service. We d- it's not activated. Wow. Okay. But yeah. again, you could dismiss it as mm-hmm. just electrical issue. Right. Maybe. So other little things is, like, when I'm in the laundry room doing laundry, the lights will flicker, but it doesn't do that for my husband so I always feel like it's like kind of like following me around and there's just like this one shadow in my one guest bedroom where when you're walking by it, like you see like a dark figure mm-hmm. and then you see it, you feel it, you look, but then nothing's there. I try to explain to people what that feel is. It's like electricity, mm-hmm. right? When somebody is standing behind you, you know it, even if mm-hmm. you don't see them. Was that what you're feeling? It's more of like a, 
it feels like just daggers. Like they're like looking at you. Okay. I don't know. Mm. But I do want to say I really never felt unsafe in my home. Like I don't feel like it's out to get me or anything. Um, But there was this one night back in August of this year where it was like one of those nights where you're tossing and you're turning and I'm having nightmares. I can't sleep. And all of a sudden the master bedroom door just kind of like opens up really slowly. Uh-uh. No. Nope. And I am like a child. So I just put my head under the covers. <laughs> you won't see me under here. You safe there. I was like, you ain't going to get me. <laughs> Not today. Not today. Satan. You'll have to go through this cotton. <laughs> <laughs> I was protected by my blanket. And um, so I didn't, look because I'm a child um, and I didn't know at the time my husband was awake too and he heard it so he heard it open and then a few minutes go by and then it closes as if someone was just like coming in looking mm-hmm. and then closing the door the door opened and closed on its own mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. just really gently nothing crazy so we do have a lot of animals but he looked none of the animals were present the AC like wasn't going off so like Mm-hmm. You know, there's no wind, so to speak. Um, and the next morning, he told me that he was at work. A coworker who's never been to our house before asked him randomly, is your house haunted? <gasps> and he was like, no, why? She goes, I had a dream last night that I was at your house for like a birthday party and something cold grabbed my arm. And he was like, really? That's weird. Because last night we just had all of these things happen. And she goes, well, that's really weird. I don't want to tell you how it ended. Oh, what? Oh, well, well, I mean, okay. she said everything by not saying anything, didn't she? <laughs> right. And she really didn't tell him for a long time. He had to like keep asking her about it. You can't say that yeah. and then yeah. not say. Right. I gotta know. No, that. it's not going to end up like, and we all had a really good dance. <laughs> right. Yeah, we all started dancing <laughs> with each other. It was really, really great. <laughs> right. So it ended with me getting pushed down the stairs. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, my but we don't have so I was like, that's not real. <laughs> <laughs> it's a ranch story house. We don't have stairs. I'm not falling. <laughs> and I think that was honestly, those are most of Okay, that's the, plenty. The yeah, no, that you're is, good. That'll do. That's plenty. Ooh. That is, that is plenty. Mm-hmm. All right, so with all of that, we sent Ed uh, to Marietta to go through your house with all his equipment, check everything out, see if they can find anything. And he did. You're not going to be shocked. No, but I'm very nervous. Like, my palms are sweating. (laughs) Well, you're going to hear the true ghosts and spirits that are in your house, okay? Well, hopefully they're nice. I don't think they said anything rude, like, yeah. (laughs) Okay, good. (laughs) Ten is a lot, Ed. You were working overtime on this one. Yeah, well, it was a good house. (laughs) Yeah, well, good in your case. Bad for her. Good for you, bad for her. Yeah, um, I love the house. I want to buy it from them, so I'm going to scare them out. (laughs) (laughs) Ah, smart. There's the rub. All right, so what do you want to tell us about this house? Okay, well, first of all, when we got there, we we walked up on the porch, and we put our bags down, and Ashley and her husband already left the house. And all of a sudden, I'm hearing this voice. Sounds like it's coming out from behind me. And so the stage is set. Got me on the edge of my seat. You know, I'm wondering what the heck's going on. Mm -hmm. Then the voice comes back. It turns out to be her on a ring. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I've never heard a ring before. So. Yeah, I think she meant to do that. You're right, I did. Uh, and um, so we went in the house and we set everything up, of course. And then <clears throat> we tried to debunk her bedroom door that keeps opening and closing. And we found that when you close the door and latch it, that you just just have to kind of barely touch it and the door will pop open. And I would suggest that you get that fixed to keep the ghost from opening and closing it. But if you do that, on the other hand, it might make the ghost mad and you never know what's going to happen. So I'll leave that up to you. Did you see the little lock that I put on top of the door? Uh, No, we did not. Uh, We put like a little latch at the very top so it stays closed. (laughs) Does that latch come unlatched when it opens up at night and you're in bed? (laughs) It does. It comes. Okay. It's just gravity. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And um but you know, the door was, was the level and it didn't move on its own and when I touched it it just kinda of opened up a couple inches. And you said that it opened up and your husband saw it, but he looked for the animals. Mm-hmm. And it'd be very easy for your cats or dogs just to tap on the door and open it. But if there's no animals there and the door closes, you know, what's mm-hmm. doing that? So that was kinda of interesting. And one thing that I found interesting is we investigated your house first, 
before we went outside. Well, your house was completely dead. Nothing was in there. We found nothing, which was very odd. Is that a term you really need to use when you're talking about ghosts? <laughs> things well, are, things we do are it, dead around your house. Yeah, we do it on investigation. So, <laughs> so um, no pun intended, of course. But um, so, you know, we said, well, let's go outside and see what's out there. And then <clears throat> we went out to the woods. And, of course, we got a lot of eye shine because of the deer out there. So no big deal. And then we... Uh, Walk back that trail you have back there. Mm-hmm. And we got to this dead tree. So, you know, it's about six inches, eight inches diameter. And mm-hmm. most of us falling off. And then there's like a bouquet of flowers on the trail pointed at that tree. Do you know anything about that? Yeah, I had some flowers that died. And I was like, I'm just going to leave them out here. And if anyone wants to eat them, then <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> they can have them. Yeah, we searched around the tree and make sure that was the only flowers there. Like nobody was making Sacrifices mm-hmm. oh, or offerings. <laughs> offerings, no. yeah, exactly. No offerings. Yeah. So while we were out there, we started EVP session, and that's when the activity started. We started getting answers to our questions and stuff. So your EVPs that you're about to play, your recordings, all came from outside? Not all of them. Oh, okay. Yeah, because, like I said, your house was completely quiet at first, but then we went back in the house and the activity picked up. So, oh, you went outside and picked up a ghost and brought it back in the house, didn't you? This is all several of them. Okay. Ooh, ooh. I do tell. <laughs> the audacity. Yeah. So while we were outside, we got three different voices. We got a, a deep male voice. We got another male voice and a female voice. So when we got in the house, they were all there with us. Mm-hmm. And that kind of determined that maybe what's outside does come in, doesn't necessarily stay in your house. They may, they may not. But like I said, when we first walked in... It was just quiet. It was just nothing there. And then we walked out to the woods. Mm-hmm. Had a good time. Okay. Okay, so you want to start yeah, with the PVPs? Okay, on this first one, I asked, are you a member of the Cherokee Nation? Mm-hmm. And we hear, maybe. <laughs> member of the Cherokee Nation? <laughs> oh, Whoa, loud, and mm-hmm. loud and clear. Loud and clear. Maybe. Clear. Maybe. Okay. And, you know, I, I kind of thought, well, wouldn't you remember if you were or not? And then Brian brought up the fact that they were persecuted they were driven mm-hmm. away from the land so why should he admit to being mm-hmm. a cherokee not knowing our intentions so we figured that's why we got that and again just to be clear you're not hearing these voices you go back and you listen to the audio or did you hear that okay. as you asked the well question? we used the spirit box mm-hmm. so it came over the spirit box gotcha. on that one. okay okay on this next one i ask what else do you have to tell us and you hear good night what else do you have to tell us Ooh, good night, night. Whoa. Oh no 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 no! The, la- yeah, the last that. voice he was confirming. That oh, okay. <laughs> <the voice> before <laughs> I left that in to explain, but I knew you were going to okay. have that reaction <laughs> again. I'll remind you guys listening that sometimes it's hard to hear on the speakers in your car, so you might want to check out the podcast later on and crank it up because it's right. clear as day for us in our headphones. Yes, right, exactly. Yeah, no, I was go back and listen to your podcast too. <laughs> um, so after you know, we got a couple of those like. Uh, you said that they're the best ones that we got out there. So we went back in the house, and one of the means we have the spirits contact us is like one knock for yes, two knocks for a no answer. So Brian asks, do you like these cats? And then you hear a knock. Do you like the cats? Get out of here. Ooh. So okay. is that a yes? That's a yes. Oh, thank okay. God. to keep the cats. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody more relieved than your cats. Well, <laughs> you're lucky you still have the white one alive. Why? Did he smack you? <laughs> well, he's pretty we, good to look at, but he's not really nice to anyone but me. Well, he's kind of standoffish. But while we were investigating in the bedroom, Jenny was sitting on the floor on one side. Brian was sitting on the floor on the other. And um so uncomfortable on the floor, I sat on your bed. And then all of a sudden, Brian, out of the corner of my eye, Brian's climbing up the wall and saying a few choice words. And what had happened is your cat's under the bed, and you and you warned me that he likes to paw. Well, he, he was pawing the, the, the um, bed of the bed, I mean, the leg of the bed. And Brian saw that. We're in the dark, and this white paw comes out. <laughs> and it just about sent him up the wall. It just, it just <laughs> on you guys, man. Uh, so that's on you. All right. <laughs> next clip. Okay. Uh, oh, let's see. The next one is I ask, are you trying to tell him to turn that off? Talking about spirit box. And you hear it quick. Who said that? Are you trying to tell him to turn it off? <laughs> yeah, I can hear it. I can hear that. Yeah. We. Oui. Okay, on the next one, I say, tell us as much as you can, okay? And then you hear a gruff voice say, I will. 
Tell us as much as you can, okay? I couldn't really hear it that yeah. time. Uh-uh. Tell Put- us as much as you can, okay? Man, I didn't yeah, get that. Yeah, that was kind of in the white mm-hmm. noise. Okay, on the next one, Brian says, if you talk, we might be able to get your voice on the radio. <laughs> and you hear something say a little bit. If you talk, we might be able to get your voice on the radio. <laughs> Mm. It's not as big a deal to be on the radio anymore, but you just said TikTok or, <laughs> pod- <laughs> or podcast. You might have got a very different response. Well, we don't know the age of the spirit there. I mean, it might be radio or it might be TikTok. Right. Who knows? Okay. Um, on the next one is Brian says, I want to say how sorry I am that you reached such a bad mental state that you harmed yourself. And you hear a voice that says, that's not me. I want to say how sorry I am that you reached such a bad mental state that you harmed yourself. Oh. Whoa. So you said that there were two spirits, right? Three. Or And you you had two. Two that I know of. Okay. All right. So, well, well, let's, I like, always like to check in with our homeowners. Yeah. Ashley, how are we feeling? Not great. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a little nauseous. Yeah, but not, honestly, yeah, a little nauseous. <laughs> Palms are sweaty. But not shocked. No, not shocked. Yeah. And we haven't even got the good ones yet. Oh, lordy. <laughs> oh, okay, on the next one, Brian asks, are you waiting for somebody? And the woman's voice says, my husband. Are you waiting for someone? Mm-hmm. 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 So, uh, you know, there are afterlife people waiting on other yeah. people. She's going to be waiting a long time. He's gone. <laughs> We've got two yeah, more. <laughs> we try to find out where he's at, if he had passed or not. On uh, the next one, I say, anybody want to continue talking with us? We'll stay. And you hear a male voice say, nope. Anybody want to continue talking with us? We'll stay. <laughs> nope, <laughs> nope. I'm all set. I'm done. <laughs> oh, it's an introvert ghost. Yeah, this is like my, my, yeah, yeah, my favorite. Road the friendly ghost. <laughs> this, this, this last one is the creepiest. Oh. Yeah, because this one was actually recorded with my camcorder I left running in your house while we were outside. Oh, so this is not a spirit box one. This no. is one that was... Out in the ether. Yeah, and, well, somebody playing with the microphone, I guess. But um, we had it set up in your living room, and what happened was, you know, you had your three house, uh, three cats in the house, and then you hear on this one, it sounds like somebody breathing, but it's not a cat. That That's the freakiest one of all inhale, of them to me. And exhale. Yeah. Yeah, 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 let's wow. hear it one more time. Oh, some yeah. deep breaths. Yeah. <laughs> Very deep. And so that like, goes on while you're sleeping and when you're not home. So now when you're in the house or going back to your home, does it change your attitude about it? Is it more like accepting because you know it's happening or does it freak you out more? Um, I, you know, I'm good with it. <laughs> you are? Yeah, I'm good with it. Okay. I think if you're good with them, they'll be good with you. Yeah, we can coexist. Nothing's yeah, wrong sure. with that. <laughs> now, if only America was like that. Right. <laughs> right. And have you ever caught one of these on ac- the actual ring? Like, the not the audio, but the video? Like a ghost seen it on ring? Yeah, some people have sent us some videos from ring of things that they've seen in their house. And, you know, some's non-paranormal, some we just can't explain. You know? So I was just reading this morning that ring has made an offer that if you can capture the visualization of a ghost on your ring, that they're about to give away $100,000. Oh, wow. really? Yeah, wow. but you have to have visual proof. And send it to them, and I didn't read all the specifications, but if that's you, man, get, go get your hundred grand. Yeah, well, I don't have a ring. I need to get one, though. <laughs> but you go to plenty of homes that have, right? Oh, that's all true, right. but it's their video, so they get the hundred thousand. Split the money with them. Yes. All right. 10% of work. Thank you for coming in. Thanks for having me. Good luck at that house. The Burt Show.